Hi, Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. Thank you for visiting my channel again. I'm Rahim here with you. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the echo bubble study. Uh, the people who doesn't know about the bubble study, bubble study is a, is a study which we do to exclude any tiny intracardiac shunts or sometimes extra cardiac as well like in trouble mode shunts. I'll explain you these things uh, later on. So you know a uh, simply or you can say most of the young patients who have strokes in the young age it could be because of a small PFO which we don't see it in normal echo okay when we put the color in we don't see the really the shunting between left to right okay then they send those patients for the bubble study so how we perform the bubble study bubble study is that they uh, you can ask a nurse or maybe if you are qualified you can put a, an IV line in on any of the arms no worry right or left arm okay and then they, some of the nurses, they get small amount of blood, okay, and then they use the normal line and then they agitate it. They use the three-way, okay, and they, they agitate it. I'll, I'll show you the three-way maybe in the next video, but they just mix that one, okay. So they agitate it and whenever you are ready with your images, you just ask them to um, inject. So they inject it and you can see if the bubbles are going from the uh, right heart to the left heart if you are seeing the bubbles coming into the left heart it means there is a shunt okay then you need to um, quantify uh, then you need to clarify that whether it's a intracardiac shunt or extracardiac shunt so if you see the bubbles coming into the uh, left side within four to five beats it means it's an intracardiac shunt if it's not appearing in four to five beats then you will uh, say that the shunt is extra cardiac which could be an intrapulmonary shunt so be between the pulmonary capillaries there is a shunt so the flow is coming to that way so that's that's one thing okay i'll show you how to see it another way is when you see the bubbles coming from the right heart to the left heart go slowly slowly and see which area the bubbles are coming from sometimes you, you see the bubbles are coming really uh, beneath the left atrium like below part of the left atrium okay towards the left atrium and left ventricle that's coming from the pulmonary vein and sometimes you see the bubbles crossing the septum and coming to the left atrium it means this is intracardiac shunt as well but you need to keep in your mind um, four to five beats intracardiac more than that it's an extracardiac shunt okay that's the simple rule so how to see it this is very important whoever is going to perform the bubble study he should perform it in a way that later on when you are seeing it you should see it okay this came after four beats or after five beats because once you are doing it you can't really calculate okay one two three four five no you can't calculate it most of the time sometimes you can do it but most of the time you can't so it's better to do it in a way that you see the empty right right heart then the bubbles come into the right heart and then you can calculate okay one beat two three four five beats and then you can say that it's an intracardiac or it's an extra cardiac shunt okay so this is mainly about the bubble study now i will show you how we operate the machine while doing the bubble study and what are the important tricks during uh, performing a bubble study okay let's come on to the machine now okay so here we are you can see this is the panel of our machine okay so this is the freeze button this is the 2d button and this is the store button okay these three are very important buttons mainly when you are going to do the uh, bubble study so what is the trick for doing a bubble study that first you uh, you know fix your arm you get the best four chamber okay wherever you are seeing the septum very well usually the four chamber is the best one to do the bubble study so you get the four chamber or some people even go for a modified four chamber where they see the atrias very well okay and and also a, a type of pulmonary vein as well so this this makes their life more easy to look where the bubbles coming from okay but anyway you get a good four chamber you see your arm is still with the image is not moving with the breathing and not going out you are okay with the image you don't need a very precise image that apex shouldn't be foreshortening and this and that no you are mainly looking at the bubbles which are coming from the atria so you need to good, get good atrias okay so these are the main tricks so once you are ready with your image you say that oh i'm ready with my image at that time um, you know the nurse will uh, put the line before and then they will be you know mixing the um, normal line that they will be agitating it okay so uh, once you will say to them okay I'm ready please inject 
so once you say inject and they are saying yes they are going to inject okay this should be a very proper communication between you and the nurse or whoever is injecting okay so once you say i'm ready and they are about to inject you need to press freeze and then unfreeze this okay so that's very important trick you press freeze or after the freeze you can press 2d as well okay or just freeze and unfreeze it okay so then once you will do freeze and unfreeze it means your cycle will start from there and then the nurse is injecting at the same time so then you will see your empty right heart and then you will see the bubbles coming into the right heart as well okay so i will i will repeat it again what you need to do is whenever you are ready you just press the freeze button okay it will turn to green and then unfreeze it okay so your cycle on the machine will start from zero now okay so then you will ask the nurse to inject now so once they will inject i'll show you how you will see it in the machine once they will inject okay so once you get your image and you are okay with your image okay you are ready and you will ask uh, nurse that i'm ready she will set injecting okay and then at that time you will press freeze and unfreeze once you will do this this is how your machine will record okay you see empty and then the bubbles start coming in so you are sure when the bubbles start coming in and you see there are some bubbles in the left side let it go and then this is your full image now you freeze your image okay and go slowly slowly backwards now this will help you like how important this was okay so this is your first beat okay the bubble came in you are sure that there was no bubble before okay so now the bubble came in you can see the bubbles the first beat gone this is the second beat we see few bubbles going there you see we see few bubbles but not a lot two okay and then this is the third beat okay and then there you go fourth beat is done and then we are in the fifth beat and we see the bubbles and also you see where the bubbles coming from if i uh, take the cursor i'll show you the bubbles are usually coming from here okay so if you look at this area you see the bubbles are coming from here so the bubbles are not going here in the in this area which is the um, pulmonary vein area the bubbles are mainly here okay and they are coming in four to five beats so it's mean it's an intracardiac shunt so this patient is having a positive bubble study with an intracardiac shunt okay you see this again i'll show you how we record them so this bubble came in we see few bubbles but then after four five beats we see very good bubbles you see so this is your one study now i will show you another study with an intrapulmonary shunt where the bubbles came afterwards okay here you go this is another study study number two so you can see the right heart and left heart there are almost no bubble there are no bubbles actually okay so now i will uh, ask the nurse that i'm ready and she said okay i'm injecting so at that time i will do freeze and unfreeze okay once you will do that or you will just press freeze and then press the 2d button so your machine will start recording from here you see the line the yellow line there okay the machine will start from there okay now i will show you the image so excuse me for the bad quality image because this was very tough window okay so here you go the bubbles came in so it's again a positive bubble study okay now whether it's an intracardiac shunt or extra cardiac now we need to go back so this is the start so we don't see any bubbles yet we don't see any or here bubbles came so this is the first beat second beat third beat fourth beat fifth beat almost six almost six beats so it came after six beats okay so and you see where the bubbles are coming from look at this okay let me get the cursor in so bubbles are directly coming from here you see this area let me take this down and move it slowly slowly you see how many you see the bubbles are directly coming from here so it's mean it's an intrapulmonary shunt so it came after six beats it's intrapulmonary shunt this is how the image look like look at this how many bubbles came on to the left side so this is how you should perform a bubble study so you should get 
one or two beats before the bubble came in or at least one beat before the bubble came in and then once you get the bubbles into the left heart leave some beats as well to see that how many bubbles are there okay in the discussion and also about showing you the cases i totally forget the main aspect of this uh, this video that uh, we need to know how we are going to acquire the images for the bubble study that's the most important aspect because if you will not acquire the uh, image in a proper way then all the effort will go into loss because nobody will understand that when the bubbles came in whether it came in four beats six beats whatever okay so that's very important thing okay so how you are going to acquire the image i'm just going to show you the quickly so first you need to uh, once you are ready and uh, your nurse is also ready with the iv line and uh, uh, with agitated saline you will say that i'm ready and she will say okay i'm injecting at that time you will press the freeze button okay it will show you green and then you will unfreeze it you see when i press the freeze the machine stops and as soon as i press unfreeze the machine starts the cycle from zero again okay so don't forget that in g machine this is our number of cycles okay so we set number of cycle to one or two to acquire the images okay you don't need to ch touch this button while doing the bubble study if it's one two three whatever your uh, uh, template is don't change anything okay just go and do this freeze and then unfreeze and then your nurse is injecting okay now the bubbles are coming okay and you just keep waiting 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 for for example 10 12 beats and then just press this store button once okay once you will press the store button once you see because our machine is set for two cycles okay so it's giving two cycles here that these are the two cycles i'm going to acquire okay so it show you the preview what it's going to acquire you need to set your machine on the preview as well, okay generally all the ge's are set on that i press the first store okay i will not press the second store or i will not do the set i will go directly onto this button okay and i will increase the beats until i hear the sound of two to two it means like it's fully recorded so then i can store it again so it will properly store the whole image which i'm trying to acquire okay now i'm going to show you the image we acquired earlier you see i press this one and now this is my image which i acquired you see if i press slow it started from here okay so these are all beats which were acquired okay you see this how many beats are they about 10 12 beats as many as you can so here you can now easily go slowly slowly and say this is first beat second beat bubble start coming in if there are bubbles on the left side or no you can uh, count the beat and then you can uh, diagnose that whether it's an intracardiac or extra cardiac shunt okay i hope you understand the way like how you are going to do a bubble study and uh, uh, what are the ways to acquire the image but if you still have any questions or if i was not able to uh, translate anything properly please feel free to ask me and i will make the video again okay thank you bye bye